Welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about chain of responsibility design pattern example within JDK. Yeah. So first example I would like to show you, uh, as you know, that uh, we can have uh, multiple catch blocks in try catch block code, right? So here you can see we have a one try and we have a three catch block over here, right? Here, every catch block is a kind of processor to process that particular exception. If any exception arises within this code, then matching exception will be executed, right? So here, how uh, exception gets matched uh, within the catch block, different catch block. So when any exception occurs in the try block, it sends to the first catch block to process it, right? So this is the first catch block. If any exception arises, then uh, uh, basically control will send to the first catch block right if this if this catch block is not able to process it it uh, forwards the request to the next uh, object in the chain or you can say next catch block this is this one right illegal access exception if even that last catch block is not able to process it so this is the last catch block if last catch block is also not able to process then the exception is thrown outside of the chain of the calling program right so this is the perfect example of a uh, chain of responsibility design pattern now let's come to the slide now uh, there are a couple of more examples i would show you so in java dot util uh, dot logging we have a logger class and there we we use log method right so this is also a very good example of uh, chain of responsibility design pattern apart from that in servlet you have a filter class right and filter we have a do filter method right so this is a perfect example of chain of responsibility design pattern so we can have a multiple uh, filter we can define multiple filter and we can send request to the first filter if first uh, uh, filter uh, uh, processing the request and finds a responsive uh, uh, first uh, filter uh, finds uh, if a request has to send to the next filter in the chain or not right that 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 depends on the business logic if a first filter itself uh, after doing the business processing finds a uh, request should not go to the second filter then from there itself response will be sent to the client right so filter is a very good example of chain of responsibility design pattern so in this video tutorial that's all i have i hope you understood whatever i wanted to explain you in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial